absolutely stunning. Wow. These are brand new machines. Oh, check this out too. Can you believe that there's a resort in Korea that costed $4.5 billion to build? Let's go check it out. I came to the Gimpo Airport, which used to be the biggest international airport in South Korea. Now that has changed over to Incheon. There's a shuttle bus that leaves from Gimpo Airport. So let's try to catch that. 안녕하세요. 혹시 인스파이어 가는 아 여기서 타면 되나요? 네. 아 감사합니다. 모터로 좀 많아요. 아 그래요? 네. 만차가 돼서 와요. 아 미리 만차가 될 수도 있구나. 네, 어떨 때는 한두 명 뛰면 타더라고요. 아 알겠습니다. 감사합니다. 네. Let's hope that I can get on this. 50번, 602번. 지하철 타고 가면 엄청 머네요. 맞아요. 거의 두 시간 걸리네요. 네. 와. 안녕하세요. 인스파이어 리조트 네명탈수 있어요? 네명 타죠 타는 거는. 아까서 아침서부터 계속 오시는 거예요. 그 물어보는 거예요. 아더 이른 시간부터요? 네. 어, 가는 사람이 많구나. 네, 많더라고요. 와 진짜 크네요. 아그 여기가 시작이니까. 네 그렇죠? 아마 저쪽일 것 같아요. 저... 그 조명 나오는 데 네, 말씀하신 아, 거예요. 네. 그럼 저희는 이제. 네. 네. 좋은 구경하세요. 네. 안녕하세요. I had a great time with those ladies. We took a cab together. So what happened was there were no seats in the shuttle bus. And it's a large shuttle bus too. It's got 45 seats, but it drops by a couple of locations before the station that I was trying to get on and it was completely full. So I asked a few ladies if they want to share a cab. And they were down to do that, thankfully. Here's the main lobby. Look at this. This is the main lounge. This is the main lobby here. And people can grab coffee, have a little breakfast. And on the left side here, this is the check-in desk. And it's huge. They got two massive desks down there. And then on this side as well, they got the entire line of check-in section. This lobby already is humongous and I can feel and smell that it's a five stars hotel. As I enter the deeper side, they got these beautiful decorations of turtles and they're made out of grass and the greens. And let's go in further to see what's inside. Wow, look at this whole gang of turtles. Now I mentioned to you in the title that it costed $4.5 billion for them to finish this resort. To give you a perspective of how much money that is in regards to construction, the highest tower in Korea, which is called Lotte Tower, and that ranks as number six in the entire world as the highest building. That costed only $3.15 billion. And look at this beautiful lamp. You know that smell when you first go into a fresh house or a fresh building? This is what this building smells like. And I can smell that it's brand new. And look at this whole line of shops here. They got a shop here for clothing, accessories. And let's see what's on this side sell the things for our kids the cute stuff they got these beautiful trees in the middle wow, look at these decorations on the floor seems like this is the whole line for shopping there's a shop here for kids clothing and then on this side this is more like the streetwear got a cool pink dinosaur here and this is where it divides into different sections of the hotel. On the left side, there's Rotunda and Aurora, which is the place for the light show. And casino is on that side. And look at this beautiful tree. I think this is the section where they have the amazing light show. 
Even the escalators are so clean, they're immaculate. And on the left side here, they got an entire space. It's like the stairs, but also has a seat where you can relax and chill. Look at the beautiful tree that's lighted up. But check this out. Look at that thing. Wow. That chandelier up there that's made out of over 150 panels. So the cool thing about this chandelier is that it moves up and down and there's a show every 30 minutes. So I'm gonna wait for that and see what that looks like. But while we wait for that, let's check this one out. Crazy was that show. Wow. So the panel that you see up there, the length of those panels is 150 meters. That's flipping long. And the quality in life is outstanding. They almost look like the real trees, the real things. They don't look like screens. Just look at the quality of this. And the beautiful thing about the screen is the fact that it's not a static picture, it's dynamic. So it's always changing with different lights and different scenes. We got a chicken and beer place in a five star resort. I love that. And let's head back to the chandelier. I think they will also do a show with that light as well. Let's go check it out. And the casino they have here, it is now the largest casino in Korea. By the way, this place called Inspire Arena can fit up to 15,000 people for large scale concerts. So tomorrow and the day after, Maroon 5 is performing here. The sign here says that this facility is undergoing maintenance. So I'm guessing that they won't do the light show, which is unfortunate, but at least they have it turned on. Let's look for something to eat here at a convenience store inside of a five-star resort. But I already know that I'm not gonna be disappointed with the quality because the quality of Korean convenience store 
is on point. And check this out. They got different types of hamburgers here. They got salads. Just got myself a sandwich. And then they also have different soups here. Also got myself a kimbap with bulgogi. Just marinated beef inside for about $3. Not bad at all. Let's go heat this up. Oh, somebody's meal in there. The quality is amazing. What a meal that was. I'm completely satisfied with the meal from convenience store at a five-star hotel. They, of course, have the restaurants here. Like, for example, this one is a sushi restaurant, but what good is the food if I'm eating the food alone? Next time I come back with somebody, we'll eat it together. But for today, the food at the convenience store was more than good enough. Oh, check this out too. Wow. Look at this waterfall. This is wicked. And this is not even a special area. This is just a pathway to the parking lot. And look how beautifully they decorated. It was not a Korean company that invested and built this, but the parent company of this resort is called Mohegan. They own multiple resorts in the United States. And this is the first one in Asia they built and invested in. So it's very meaningful. It's absolutely stunning. This Inspire Resort is only about 15 minutes away from Incheon International Airport. And they just opened up here, so it's not that crowded. And they have 1,275 rooms at this hotel across three towers. It's not busy yet, and I think a lot of people still do not know about the existence of this hotel. But as the words spread, I am sure that this is going to be a busy hotel because it's so close to the airport. So imagine landing in Seoul late at night and you don't want to go all the way back to Seoul. Then you can spend the night here. It's about $200 a night, so which is not bad for five stars resorts. And you can enjoy the swimming pool here. You can see the beautiful light shows, eat good food, hang out. Maybe you can catch a concert by a global star. Check out this gorgeous bakery. They sell different breads. They're about $3. Oh, this one's about $6, $7. This one is about $7. <laughs> so it's not the cheapest bread, but I'm sure the quality is amazing. And there's a restaurant in there. Look at how big it is. I think the light show is about to start. I thought it was broken, but I was talking to a visitor and he told me that they will be doing a show pretty soon. Oh, I think the show is starting.
you guys like the show? I thought that was awesome. They're all orchestrated perfectly with music. Let's go for a little walk and see what else is here. I know I'm not going to be able to get into the swimming pool because I'm not staying at the hotel. But maybe there's something else to take a look. Look at this giant screen promoting Maroon 5 coming tomorrow. And it seems like this is the first concert the hotel will hold because it's labeled as series number one. Wow. They also have Sai and Taeyang from Big Bang playing. I'm guessing that most of you guys know who Sai is. I love it whenever the Korean ladies take cute photos with the beautiful backgrounds. They even have a store for ginseng. What is this one here? They have a whole pharmacy. Look how clean it is. Oh, there's another panel. Apparently they have this area called Discovery Park. And it's a place where you can go hang out, go on a picnic. There's a wellness club. Maybe this is the gym. But look at that. They have a whole bar with coffee machines and wine. That is the main lobby I came from. Let's try going this way. I see the sign for Discovery Park, which is that outdoor picnic area. Check it out. Gorgeous decorations. Wow, and it seems like they got that indoor playground. Is this an arcade? Holy smokes. They have a whole flipping arcade here. Wow. Look how clean the machines are. These are brand new machines. Oh, this guy is flying. First place. He's good at that game. It's definitely not his first time playing that game. But check this out. You can even ride a horse. Isn't that crazy? I've never seen this machine before. And then of course, if you got talents in shooting, you can shoot these, try to knock those off, and then win one of these prizes. This is the one where you pop the balloons. There's so many spots here to take amazing photos. I'm a little sad that I don't have anyone who can take a good photo for me. I have to come back here with one of my friends. This is one of the towers if you're staying here. They got three towers in this resort. And this is the main lounge for hanging out. And let's go back to the main lobby for me to get to the Discovery Park. Apparently, I have to go outside. I can't go through inside. Turns out, the Discovery Park isn't open yet. But I don't blame them. They just opened this month. There is one more section that I haven't checked out yet. So let's check it out. What is this place? It's like a store that sells different snacks. Potato wedges, some hand soaps, some cool looking spray, bubble cleanser. Got some cute stuff. And toys for kids. And there's a Korean restaurant here. It sells Korean beef. And some soup dishes. Check this out. Another beautiful light. MJ Steakhouse. Here's another restaurant. They really did a perfect job with all the lights here. 
Look at that one too. It looks like a hot air balloon. And the interior is just beautiful. There's a bakery here. Look at all these desserts. Wow. There's a store called Eggmon. Stands for Egg Monster. Seems like they sell the breakfast menus. And then what is this one? Oh, it's an ice cream shop. And then it connects back to this point with the beautiful lights. And I don't think I went this way. Let's see what they have here. This is a... Uh, oh, this is a bakery. Wow. And then on that side, that's a shop for fragrances. They also have shuttle buses going to Incheon International Airport. So what do you think about this hotel? Would you stay here for about $200 per night or no? The quality of this hotel is just outstanding. I would totally come back. Well, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.